Okay, welcome to my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing a peek at your person. Love tarot reading. All right, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? Let's get into your reading. Your overall energy, starting off with building blocks and milk and honey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some good luck coming your way, stability, wanting to have that stability, that happiness, um, feeling like this is the right choice, you're doing the right thing, um, putting the pieces together and just really creating some kind of strong foundation here. Uh, your person's overall energy, we have deep knowing, by the book and breathe. Um, I feel like this is some kind of an intuitive connection that's going on or this person's really trying to manifest you. I also feel like they want to do things the right way. They might be trying to line everything up just so, so that way this does come together. Um, I feel like you're a little bit more flexible here, but this could also be, wow, driven by a higher power, serendipity, you could be seeing signs, synchronicities, um, higher power here. I do see some kind of a new beginning and I was seeing the number 11 um, here I'm also seeing a lot of uh, I'm seeing a lot of ones so 11 11 and I'm also seeing a lot of twos so look up angel numbers 11 11 and 22 and see if there is a angel message there for you all right let's get into it what's going on current situation for Taurus and their person Queen of Swords. I was going to say by the book, that could be Libra energy. You could be dealing with a Libra. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Uh, this person could be very... <sighs> Let me get what else. This You could have just cut somebody off or they could have. But let's see. What's going on? Taurus and their person. Taurus and their person. What's going on? Current situation. You may have just cut somebody off in order to to be with this other person, the chariot. Yeah, uh, Cancerian energy. So Taurus, you may have just, or they, whatever, flip flop, reverse it. Somebody could have just cut off uh, a connection to move things forward here between the two of you. Let's see what else current situation current situation for Taurus and their person also keep in mind when I say your person's energy Taurus it could be yours it can be flip-flopped and reversed Knight of Wands Sagittarius energy they come in for you to move things into calmer waters there's passion attraction chemistry temptation oh. Somewhere here, you may have felt maybe this person was playing you and you had to cut it off because you wanted some kind of strong stability. And I feel like this person's realizing that if they don't get their act together, things aren't going to move forward here. So I do see it moving into calmer waters. What is this? What's going on? Or some kind of movement forward. Ooh, they watching you. They could just be um, watching you online, social media, seeing how to approach you, looking into what you're up to, what you're doing. Um, I feel like they want to talk. It could be going from like small little flirty conversations to like, let's talk about this, you know, um, to move this into calmer waters. So I do feel that there could be a shift here. Something could change. Confusion could end up being getting cleared up here. Uh, between the two of you, but let's see, blockages, blockages, blockages for Taurus and their person. Ooh, two of Cups in reverse, you guys feel the connection. You feel the connection. If it was upright, I would say no, but you feel it <laughs> divinely guided. Uh, it could have been taking someone a long time to leave a situation or get the courage to come towards you. You could have just been friends and now it's, you know, maybe taking a step up or met through friends or something with a situation like that. But let's see, blockages. You could have friends blocking this too. 
if there was like jealousy or anything like that, just saying for some of you. Uh, but what else for Taurus? Blockages. Blockages. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, Nine of Swords. All right. Um, sleepless nights, high anxiety. Someone needed to make a choice here. I do feel someone had to cut off somebody. It could even be a friend, you guys. Like you had to cut off a, a friend or a friendship here for this to come together because they either didn't approve, didn't like it. Maybe it was their ex or something, or I don't know. There, I feel like there's something maybe to do with that. Um, or someone had to cut off a, a relationship in order for this to come together. All right. All right. What else? What else? Blockages. Six of Wands. Victory and success. And Nine of Cups, a wish come true, a wish fulfillment. And Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some, I'm telling you, you guys, I, I don't even want to say, I, there could have been a third party situation. There could have been, you know about it. It's not anything hidden. Um, someone had to cut someone off. I feel like there was like jealousy or envy or... Hmm, something like that keeping you and this person apart could be a family member I, I feel like it was like a friend or something I don't know you're gonna have to let me know in the comments because there's something here that was causing a major blockage between the two of you and, but I I feel like it's external you know what I mean I don't Again, it could have been a third party. I'm not really seeing that here unless it was like you were involved with somebody or they were involved with somebody and like you met and it just clicked and they had to get out of that, that kind of a thing. But I feel like there's something to do with like a friend, a family, something that was like, I just want to say jealous. You're going to have to let me know, Taurus. Or they just didn't like this person or something like that. Or your friend wanted you to be miserable and single with them the rest of your life. I don't I don't know. That, that happens. Seen it. Um, all right. Let's see. Um, how does this person truly feel about you, Taurus? How does this person truly feel about you? Six of Cups. Yeah, they are thinking about you. Nostalgic. Looking back on old memories, pictures. You may have known each other since childhood. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. King of Swords, Aquarius energy, Page of Swords here. So the stuff that was being blocked, this is how they feel about you now. Wow, Four of Wands, Six of Wands, Six of Swords. Manifesting, communication, reconciliation. If you've never been with this person before, this is like a soulmate bond reconciliation here in the 3D, a wake up call, making a big judgment, a big decision. Wow. Leveling this up, having that victory and success, moving on to calmer waters. I'm telling you, you guys, there's something, something here. They're watching you. Not in a creepy stalker. They're like observing, I should say. They're observing you to see how you handle things, to see if this is going to come together, to see if they should make a move, when to make a move. Um, you might be giving them the idea that you are a little bit cold and cut off. You might have some kind of a sword drawn. And it's funny because I'm kind of looking at it like this. Like you're the king of swords and they're the page. And you're like, mm -hmm. you know, and they're like, hey. like a wand and a sword. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. They don't want to make you mad. They don't want to make you upset. I feel like they want to come towards you. But Taurus, not always. I mean, Sometimes your serious side, you know, could show like a resting bitch face or make you come off like you're, you're cold, something like that. So it might intimidate them. Um, 
wanting to express something to you or tell you something or let their guard down. They want to, though. They really want to talk to you. And again, I feel like it could have just been like small little talk and now like they really want to tell you something. I feel like maybe they've been keeping this a secret or just not being very open about it towards you. Uh, let's see, what's the potential outcome here for Taurus and their person? Potential outcome, Taurus and their... Oh, I just saw two of cups flash. All right, I have two of swords. So making a head over heart logical decision, the Emperor Aries. So you could be leaving like an Aries behind. Um, we could work together with this person. I'm sorry about my dog, you guys. Aries energy. Why is that here? Bossing up. There's a two. Somebody's making a decision here to boss up. Take control. Take action. I feel like it's your person. I feel like they were a little bit shy. Yeah. And I feel like you guys were like friends or something like that. Or that's the closing of a cycle. Strength. Leo energy. Ace of cups. To the three of swords here. High priestess. Using intuition. Your person really is trying to follow intuition on making a decision here to like boss up, get the strength and courage to come towards you. I feel like they want to close the cycle of being just friends or just co-workers or just whatever and like take it a step further here. What else? Outcome for Taurus. Or just someone could work in the legal system here with that King of Swords. It could be a lawyer, a cop, something like that too as well. Um, like you guys could work together somehow. Uh, anyway, the Fool, Aries Energy, Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want to take a leap of faith here. They're waiting for the right, the right moment, the right time. Wow. Knight of Wands. They want to come right at you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Biggest obstacle for Taurus in this connection. What's the biggest obstacle? I feel like it's going to make you happy. Milk and honey is here. So I feel like whatever this is, it is going to make you happy, Taurus. Um, but it might be unexpected projections. You guys are both giving off the same vibe and aligning with each other. Projections can also be a negative where you blame and point and projecting and, and mirroring and things like that. I, I feel like this is more of a spiritual connection. So I feel like there's projections there of recognizing each other's soul, each other's energy, things like that going on. Compromise. Oh, there's got to be some compromise. All right. Some give and take here or may not be the ideal situation. Someone might lose a friend over this, to be honest with you, or someone may have to give up a relationship. So compromising. I don't know. Uh, source. Yeah, listen to your intuition. But I do feel this is divinely guided. I feel like it's a soul, soul contract here. All right, let's see what else for Taurus. Cycles, momentum, force, life cycles. Stay grounded in the now. Appreciate, your twin appreciates you. See the blessings, practice appreciation. Yeah. Mirroring, see, projections, mirroring, reflection, Twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. You might be seeing signs and synchronicities. Community, friendship, fun, a light heart, enjoy downtime with friends and family. I'm telling you, friends, something about friendship. It's just coming through really strong with this. We're working in the community, being out in the community, meeting out, out in the community somewhere, you know, with friends, whatever. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? It was my fault, but I blamed you. I love you. That's way too many. Finding out the truth crushed me. 
Make that how it resonates. You came closer than anyone. I look for you everywhere. I want to tell you how I feel. See? Do you have some kind of secret admirer, Taurus? All right. I'm going to pull some letters. Could be first name, middle name, last name, initials, could spell a name. Uh, keep in mind, I only have one of each letter. So if their first and last are the same letter, feel free to double it. All right. I have M, C, D, J, V, U, R, P, E, T, G, H, and X. M, C, D, J, V, U, R, P, T, G, E, X and H. All right, let's get some numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, and age, number of days, weeks, months, years. Um, could be angel numbers. So let's see. We have two, five, seven, ten. So it could be the second, the fifth, the seventh, or tenth of any month. It could be 25, 27, 57, 75, 72. 10, all right, take that how it resonates, February, May, July, and October. All right, uh, zodiac signs, could be their sun sign, they could have strong placements in their charts, or it could happen, something could happen during that season, so like Taurus season, for instance, okay? Let's see, what do we have? Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, and Scorpio. Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, and Scorpio. Could be dealing with one of those signs. Doesn't have to be. I did have other signs show up here like Sag, Aries, um, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, uh, Cancer. Could be any sign, you guys. All right, Gemini showed up too. Um, Leo. Anyway.